Hello everyone. Here is an equilibrium problem. In this problem, a 2500 kg tailor is attached to a stationary truck at point B at this point, and we are supposed to find the force exerted by the road on the rear tires at A. So that means we are going to find the force that it exerted from the road on this tire. And also the vertical force exerted on the tailor by the support B. So another force here that is exerted by the support B on the trailer. Okay. So the F exerted from the road on the tire since it's at point A, let's show this force by F sub A. And the force exerted from the support B on the trailer, since it's at B, let's uh, show the force uh, by F B. Okay, so this is FA and FB. And now we are going to find out how to solve this problem. So this is already a uh, free body diagram, but I will draw it below to make it uh, in a better and simpler way. So let's say this is a trailer. We have a force acting on it. This is FA and there is the weight MG and there is another force F sub B. So in first part we are supposed to find FA. So in order to find F sub A in this case we need to use the second condition of equilibrium and the second condition of equilibrium says that the sum of all clockwise and anti-clockwise torques or moments of forces must be equal to zero around about a pivot so let's choose the pivot here since i am going to find f a f sub a i will choose f sub b this point as the pivot and I will try to find all the turning effect around this point, around this pivot. So let's choose this one as pivot. So I will write if B is pivot, then, so we can see uh, that FA, the force A sub A and MG, they make uh, two turning effects about this pivot and FA actually makes a um, clockwise so this will be clockwise let's say clockwise we take it as positive clockwise torque sub C means clockwise is equal to F sub A times D and the distance from A to B is 2.5 meters plus 5.5 .5 meters all right so this is my clockwise a moment of force about the pivot b and also mg creates or generates another um, moment of force about or around this point b and that is counterclockwise so let's take it as negative counterclockwise torque which is mg mg times the distance from mg to pivot which is uh, 5.5 .5 meters right so the second condition of equilibrium says that the sum of all clockwise and anti-clockwise moment of forces must be equal to zero or well, sigma tau is equal to zero so then we simply set them equal right so we say that uh, so this is negative 
uh, counterclockwise negative and clockwise positive so we can add them up and then it will be like f sub a times 8 meters this is positive and the second one which is the counterclockwise negative negative 2500 kilograms times 9.8 meter per second squared so this is mg times 5.5 meters this sum must be equal to zero right so then i can find fa from here easy right i can send fa is equal to so if we multiply this uh, and then we will get one three four seven five zero kilogram meter per second square times meter and divided by eight meters okay so first of all we move uh, this negative part of the equation to the other side of the equation and then we divide it by the uh, coefficient of unknown which is eight meters so here meter will be cancelled with meter and we will be left with and we divide it by 8, it will be equal to 16,844 newtons. And you see this kilogram meter per second square is newton, right? And if we want to round it to a two digit number, okay, so we say it's equal to almost equal to uh, 17,000 newton okay so both answers are correct so this is fa fa is done now how about if b the force exerted from the um, support to the trailer how about that this fb so again in this case we will select a as or the rear tires as the as the pivot point so in this case we select a as the pivot point a is equal to pivot let's say a is equal to pivot we take a as pivot all right and then in this case we will do the same thing just follow the same thing so clockwise torque or moment of force about pivot a will be mg that will be created by mg times the distance from mg to the pivot which is here 2.5 meters so this is 2.5 meters and here is let me write it here 5.5 meters right so this will be 2.5 meters and uh, counterclockwise torque which we take it as negative will be generated or created by uh, fb and that will be f b times 8 meters because 5.5 plus 2.5 will be 8 meters so again here we will say the sigma the sum of all torques or moments of forces about the pivot must be equal to zero. So mg here will be equal to 24,500 kilogram meter per second squared. The clockwise will be equal to clockwise moment of force or torque will be equal to 24,500 newtons times 2.5 meters that is positive and negative will be equal to fb times 8 meters this will be equal to zero right and then we can find fb from here which is equal to 61,250 
newtons meter divided by 8 meters that eventually we can get this number which is equal to 7656 newtons this is the a value of FB and uh, there is a simpler way to calculate FB since we have got FA in the first part of our calculation so we can use the first condition of equilibrium instead of just solving this long way we can just use the first condition of equilibrium which is uh, sigma Fy is equal to zero. All the forces towards y-axis. And we have already got Fa and then Mg. All the forces upward towards up will be positive and those forces downward negative. So we can add them up and we will get Fb. The answer will be exactly the same as what we got here, right? It must be the same. Okay, thanks for watching this video. And please like and subscribe. Thanks.